Alrighty, so software 2020.4.3 started rolling out for a wide release tonight, and I got lucky again, and I'm one of the first people to get it. So I'm just going to do a quick little overview on the new features. This is a, a bit bigger update than the last one that I covered, but either way, we're going to hop right into it. Alrighty, so the first thing that we're going to go over is this device priority for Bluetooth. I'm really excited about this. I didn't know that I cared for this um, or that it would even be an option, but now that it's out, I'm really glad that it's happened. So currently we're on my wife's profile here and her phone, I selected as priority device. So it has that little star next to it. Now, if I go to mine, now you can see that my phone has the star next to it and is priority device. The next one is for speed assist improvements. Uh, since the last major update, the car has been utilizing the cameras to read speed signs, uh, but just on local roads. So with this update, it'll now do that on freeways and highways. This next one doesn't really make much sense to me, but either way, it's a new option. It's the pin to open glove box. So if you open up controls, safety and security and scroll down, You'll see it right there, glove box pin. I'm gonna set the most secure password on the planet Earth. Don't show anybody. And now if I try to open the glove box, it requires a pin. Again, don't show anybody this code. It's very important. Um, you can see that we have snacks in there for our kiddo. Not gonna lie, I don't really know why this is an option. Uh, if you put the car in valet mode, it's already gonna lock the glove box in the frunk. And I just can't think of a reason why you'd want to lock just the glove box. So yeah, if you can think of a reason, please let me know down in the in the comments. I was trying to think of something earlier and just nothing came to mind. So I suppose it's nice because it's at least an option. I just don't see where this would be a useful option. Alrighty, and this next one I'm going to read because I don't want to mess it up. So it says, uh, charge port inlet heater. Your car can now use the charge port inlet heater to help defrost the inside of the charge port. The charge port inlet heater can be activated in cold ambient temperatures by enabling preconditioning using the mobile app, activating the rear defrost button on the vehicle's touchscreen, or preconditioning the vehicle using scheduled departure. According to Green the Only, a while back he did mention something about a new charge port type that was uh, found in the code, but he didn't really give any information on it. So this apparently is just for model three and Y, um, S and X for whatever reason being the top of the line cars still don't have this, but nobody really knows as far as I can tell when this was placed into the cars. So I'm assuming that all model Ys have it. Um, my 2018 April build model three does not have it. Somebody else on the Tesla Motors Club had a April 2019 build Model 3, and they said that theirs didn't have this in the release notes. So if your car has this in the release notes, please let me know down below what the uh, the build date is on your car, because I'm curious when they started implementing this into the threes and the Ys. And just a little minor update for the Model S. If you have the app version 3.10 or later, you can now vent the windows in your car. So before you could close it or you could open or close the sunroof, now you can actually open all the windows around the car just a couple of inches. And then one last thing that I was curious about, uh, Electric posted an article what, like a week ago or so, and they said that in 2020.4.1, that if there was no lead car that Basically, your car could still go through a green light, assuming that it was a clear path and everything like that. So I thought that maybe this being a later release, it might have it. And you can see here with 2020.4.3 that it actually does not exist anymore. So you can watch the video and see that I go through and do some test drives. Um, I'm kind of surprised by this, kind of not. I was torn 50-50 on thinking whether or not it would be implemented. Um, even though it is a later release than 2020.4.1, not very many people got that. So my guess is that that's like an early access program release, kind of like a AB setup. But either way, this release is going to be the same when it comes to stoplights and stop signs. So if you're expecting a big change, sorry, it's not happening this time. 
As always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know down below. And other than that, I'll see you in the next one.